Hello, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is L58, and uh, looks like we are in the Empire's little makeshift base, and we're overhearing two soldiers talking about General Leo and Kefka. And it looks like Kefka isn't second in command. I was wrong. He's not even an official general, and it looks like the soldiers don't want that. They think he's a psycho as well, and uh, they look up to General Leo. Uh, they, they they find him a pretty honorable guy, which is kind of surprising because he works for the Empire. And now we see the Empire uh, storming or attacking Doma Castle. And I just love how these soldiers just run into the wall. That doesn't make much sense. But, uh, so yeah, uh, we don't know much about Doma. Uh, maybe they could be allies because they are against the Empire too. And yeah, but it looks like it's kind of hopeless for them. Moment, sir. Is this frog from Chrono Trigger? No. Uh, that would have been cool, though, right? Allow me the honor. All right. So faithful retainer, a family man, and he has the courage and strength of a hundred men. We are introduced to one of the fan favorites, Cyan. Uh, I don't know, I never really used him much. Uh, like I said, I mostly just use Sabin. Uh, but, I mean, if you're looking at raw stats near the end of the game, uh, Sabin's kind of weak in comparison. Alright, let's let the commander have it. You could fight these other soldiers that are running up against the wall, but it's kind of worthless. So, I just wanted to get right into the battle. And we get to see... Cyan's ability, Sword Tech, which you see there's eight different abilities. You can only access three right now. And pick number two, which nothing happened. That's weird. No, it's uh, the Retort uh, Sword Tech, which, as you see, does a good deal of damage, um, considering you know, Sabin's only doing about 50 damage with his claws. He's supposed to be a powerful monk. Oh! And see, by defeating the general, everyone runs. So, yeah, Seven has some cool sword techs. I uh, do recommend if you were going to just regularly attack with him, just use the sword tech command of one. Uh, unless uh, his sword does a special ability, but his sword right now doesn't. So we're back to the base, and they moved Shadow to the front. I don't know why, but whatever. So there's a treasure chest over here, and you have three options. You can kick it, hit it, or leave it alone you kick it, you get into a battle. Uh, I chose to hit it. It will, uh, a sentry will come by, and I don't know where he comes from. Just shows up. Uh, but he thought it was a cat, so he leaves you alone. And now you get to get the uh, item, which is a star pendant, which is a relic that you can uh, use, uh, and it uh, protects you against poison. I never use it. I, I, you could use it if you want. I don't see the point. But, you know, once again, that that's up to you. And we meet General Leo here. A soldier's talking to him. Basically, the soldier's a little gung-ho. He's willing to give his life for the Empire. And Leo's saying, Whoa, whoa, calm down, son. You know, you gotta... Your life is worth more than, you know, just a... Just a... a easy death on the battlefield, you know? It, General Leo actually cares for his troops, which is really strange because he's a villain you know he's he's part of the empire which we are opposed to so it kind of makes you question like okay if he's such a, a high-ranking general you know how is he so honorable um, it looks like Kefka's second in command for this operation and and now Leo's being called back by the Emperor and so now Kefka's in charge it's kind of a scary thought. So that's General Leo. He could be my friend if he weren't my enemy. That's another good line that I like. It just pretty much just describes General Leo in a nutshell. Ugh, so Kefka wants to poison the water supply. What a jerk. I don't want any trouble here. <laughs> you loser. Oh, man. He just straight up tells General Leo that he thinks he's a loser. That's, that's pretty bold. So now Leo leaves, but he doesn't notice us. That's kind of funny. <laughs> you just go and be a good little boy. I like that line. Right. Is the poison ready? But General Leo said, he's no longer here. I'm in charge now. But some of our people are prisoners inside the castle. 
Nah, just do it. Just take them all out. What a jerk, man. Nah, we can't stand for this. We gotta do something about it. Bub? He just to he just called us Bub. Who's he, freaking Wolverine? Alright, this is a pretty easy battle. Just one hit. Youch! Kefka, wait! Oh, game froze a little bit. Sorry about that. Wait, he says. Do I look like a waiter? Just everything he says, I, I pretty much like. It's just... It's just a funny, interesting character. Alright, now, you could chase him and continue the story, but there are a couple items around here. Not in this tent, as you can see. And you can go up this way, but there's nothing up there. So, just go over here. You could go into this tent. It has two treasure chests. We'll get to that in a second, but... Um, a lot of people overlook is going back here. You can pick up a barrier ring, which I believe casts safe on you when your HP is low. I never really use it. You can if you want, but I don't see the point. I think that's just a waste of relic space. And let's see. Um, is it? Yeah, I was right. Alright, so I'm just going to equip the Genji Glove even though I don't have a second... Uh, glove. That's okay. Alright, we receive a mithril glove. Another kind of worthless relic, if you ask me. It doesn't really do anything special. And we fight our first monster in a box, which, uh, is, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say he's that hard. Just, uh, don't use any blitzes on this Telstar, because he'll counter with a Berserk, and if you don't have a ribbon or something that stops Berserk, and you don't want Sabin to be Berserk, then don't do Blitz. Uh, it's good to not have him be Blitz, or be Blitz, be Berserk, because um, if you need to heal for some reason, you wouldn't be able to. And it's, it gets a little risky that way. I'm trying to be a little more conservative. So, as you see, uh, he won't counter uh, with Berserk to Shadow by throwing the Shuriken, so just keep doing it. And as you see, if you take too long, he's going to call some soldiers. Soldiers are easy though, no big deal. As you see, they'll probably go down in one hit, maybe two. Oh, well, yeah, one hit. So, pretty easy fight. Really, so far the, the game's been nothing but pretty easy fights. And we receive a green beret. Uh, recommend equipping that, of course, to Sabin, not to Shadow, because once again, Shadow can just run away at any point. He could leave next battle for all I know. And uh, that's all the items right now. Uh, we're just going to continue the story, go see Kefka. Chase him around a little more. And we run into pretty much the same battle. Just one hit, and it will continue the story. Kefka, wait! Wait, he says, do I look like a waiter? I wish he said something different that time. I mean, it wouldn't take too, too much. It's too much to ask. I swear. Next time we're a goner. Is that a promise? <laughs> so we get into a little bit of a tougher battle than Kefka. Um, now use the Shurukens on the Templars and just have Sabin Blitz. He might hit a Templar, but uh, hopefully he hits the soldiers because the Shurukens are a little stronger, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let's see, 216 to. to. come on. Yeah, it's at 426. It's almost, almost twice as much. Ah, I missed the blitz. Oh well. And, yep, that should do it. Alright. We get no experience. That always ticks me off. I don't think you get any experience off these boss battles. And it looks like we weren't able to stop Kefka, and he's gonna pour this poison in the water anyways. But I mean, look, the, the water's changing color. You would think that people would be smart enough. Oh, the water kind of looks pinkish. Maybe I shouldn't drink it. Whatever. All right, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to end the video uh, suddenly. Uh, if you like the video, please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, support me. Uh, it'd be very nice. Um, next episode, we will uh, meet a little more of Cyan.